The place to charge Jeff Vega, terrific performance for him today. Any surprises or is this just kind of according to plan? Uh, for Jeff, you know, he couldn't have run a more perfect race. He's, um, you know, going into nationals. There's probably nobody better than him. There's probably a couple guys as good as him. He'll have as good a chance to anybody to, to take home a national title in, in two weeks. Um, definitely be in the top five again. Uh, we would hope if he runs like he did today, he'll definitely have a chance to win, and that's that's a that's a great thing, real positive. It impressed me. I mean, he was stride for stride with another fellow through the I don't know the first three miles or so, but with about two and a half miles to go, he surged, and there was absolutely no response from his competitors, and he looked as confident and as strong finishing as I've ever seen him. Yeah, I, I mean, what we talked about is. I'm not sure that B. Watt's been challenged all year, really challenged. Jeff pulled up and even with him with 800 to go at the conference meet, and um, but he's never had somebody stride for stride really there challenging him, and and, and that's you know Jeff did that, and uh, sometimes if you're not used to that, you know it can be a little unnerving, and then when. It's, you know, he kept on surging, trying to get away from Jeff, and Jeff matched every surge. And then when Jeff made the move, I, I don't think he's used to that at this point. And, um, you know, Jeff was able to get away with him, get, get away from him, and, and, and ran an absolute phenomenal race. Take me through the race from your standpoint. Um, I don't know, I guess going into the race, first of all, I just, I wanted to get closer. It was like during um, conference two weeks ago, I got pretty close to um, like b or whatever. So going in this race, I wanted to actually go out there and like race him most of the race. And uh, so going out, like, was slightly behind him around the mile. And I was like slowly working up next to him. And then... I think it was just me and him for about like two miles and there was a good battle going on like whenever I got close to him he would surge and um, like I knew he was going to do that because he did at conference and um, so a few times I would surge with him or like most of the times I actually just let him go and then um, like sometimes I even like surge by him like going into the turns and like trying to work the downhills which I feel like I do pretty well on and um, I don't know I guess about like three and a half or so kind of like wore him out a little bit and like got a little gap like I was starting to get little gaps here and there but he would always come back but around like three and a half I think I got a gap and he just he just didn't really end up responding after that and I just kind of just kept on working my way to the finish pulling away and uh, felt pretty strong so is it when you're out there you've got the confidence you know if he searches he's not going to separate himself from you you're going to be able to stay with him yeah. and that confidence to know that at some point you're going to outlast him yeah. Well, I wasn't exactly sure because he's a new runner to the conference. He's like a freshman, but he's a 24-year-old freshman, so he's got like experience behind him. And I wasn't sure what kind of runner he would be, uh, like is, or like how much he actually has left because he wasn't really pushed in any of the races he ran this year. So I didn't know what he had, but I felt like I had really nothing to lose. I had to go chance it at some point and like see where I stand going into nationals. So I just went out there and like. Either if I died or he died, I was just going to keep on pushing it the whole entire race and not just let him like surge away like I kind of did at conference. I was amazed watching you come down uh, the, the home stretch toward the finish line. How strong you looked physically. I mean, I suspect you probably feel like you left everything out on the course that you had to give. But were you almost surprised how strong you felt? Yeah, I mean, I've come to notice after I started running well these last like two years that when you're winning or running really fast, like, and like, like what you think is like a good race it just doesn't hurt as bad as it does when you uh when you're not running fast so i don't know you just kind of get the boost there was tons of people out here today that were cheering and uh i don't know it just feels good winning so like once i finish like most races like i feel like i usually die at the end like right after you finish you're just exhausted but like two years ago when i won regionals i felt great after i finished and it was the same thing here today i guess maybe i also like don't have to kick down the finish because i have like quite a bit of a gap so I could just jog it in instead of like sprinting down to finish. I know when we talked, uh, I'd asked you this question, but I'll ask it again anyway when we talked beforehand. I said, do you kind of enjoy the fact that this isn't about time, this is about competition? Do you, do you find in this sort of race that, that there's an advantage in that it is about the competition? Uh, yeah, like I, that's what I like about cross country mo more is that um, you're not on the track and you're not hearing the time like lap after lap after lap. Like I heard a couple times like two mile, three mile and stuff, but like Mind I don't like to think time, about it because uh, it kind of gets in my head. But um, I don't know, just going out there and racing, it's like I just like it better. Just knowing like you don't really pay attention to the time because sometimes you might hear something like I heard like 1450 through 5k, which is like 
pretty fast for me for like a 10k, faster than I ever gone through. And like that could get in your head and kind of mess with you and like, oh no, I'm going out too hard, I'm going to die. But if you just go out there and race, like I feel like it makes it easier. And it was nice going out here and like, like I like seeing my time when I finish. Like that's great knowing how fast I ran. It'll give me some confidence going into nationals. Even though I think the course is a little short, but it was so nice to run that fast. 10k is it a different approach in a 10k than it is an 8k? For me, not at all. I'm gonna go out there and race it like an 8k. And, like I, I feel like I always have. Like I'm, I think I'm relatively strong, so I always feel like I have something left at the end. So whether it's 8k, 10k, like between those two races, I'm just gonna go like equally as hard. And I guess you were pleased with the time. Yeah. 2850, I think, or something like that. I mean, it's definitely not 10k, but it's still pretty fast. It'll give me some good confidence, especially the way I race today. I'm really looking forward to the nationals two weeks from today. All right, well, we thank you for your time. We wish you good luck at nationals. Right, thank you. Jeff goes to the nationals. The team is not going to the nationals, but Eric McDonald is. And that's, I guess, a, a small victory for him. Yeah, Eric ran a good race. Um, went out faster than he ever has for the first mile of the race. So he was, the last four miles were, were a little painful for him, but he hung in beautifully and, and got the job done. Um, the other guys, you know, just, we did not run well, frankly. We, we did not, not run well, and, uh, you know, we can blame that on coaching. We can blame that on the kids. Um, you know, I'll take 51% of the blame. They can take 49% of the blame. But we just, truly, our, our three through seventh guys just really did not have a good day at all. We were probably as bad as we possibly could be, to be honest. Is it just one of those things that some days you have a bad day and it just happened to be this day? Yeah, I mean, it's just one of those things. You know, they did the same training that Jeff and Eric did, and they ran great races um, over the last, you know, month. And they've been coming along just as well as those guys have. Um, you know, a little of it is inexperience. Um, you know, missing Omar Abdi and missing Patrick Donovan out of today. You know, certainly those are two, two guys that could have helped us a lot. Um, but the other teams ran well too. You know, we we ran poorly and we left the door open, and uh, and, and they, the other teams took advantage of it. On the women's side, uh, Kelly Walton finished seventh. I know maybe the final race of her life. I talked with her. She said it was. Uh, the best time she'd ever turned in. If this is her last race, she is happy to, with the, her final performance. The women's team in general just ran phenomenal. Probably one through seven, the best race we've won all year. Probably just the opposite of the men. You know, they, they might ran much more like Eric and Jeff. They ran absolutely the best race of the year. I think we were tied for fifth. Um, you know, and that's that's great. I mean, that that is as good as we could have asked out of that group. And uh, you know, I'm really really proud of them. They, you could see it through the whole race that they were fighting and gritty and and really went after it and uh, we were only 20 something points out of May, getting an NCAA bid which is great I mean two weeks ago we were 40 something points out of getting an NCAA bid so uh, we're right there and, and the young kids Megan and, and Kelsey and, and Cassie all ran great and, and that bodes well for the future I was gonna I was gonna ask you exactly that well there were some seniors on that women's team there were also some freshmen some young runners this has got to one would imagine pay huge dividends down the road yeah and you could just tell when you watched them race they were gritty and they would they put their head down and, and they laid it all out there and some of that can be taught and some of it can't and so it, it's definitely encouraging to have three freshmen in your top five that that are all that tough and it was I'll tell you what, it was a really enjoyable race to watch because uh, I just knew they were laying it all on the line and, and uh, you can't ask for more than that from any team you coach. Coach, thank you. Thanks. All right, give me your assessment of the performance today. It was a really, really competitive field. Um, our conference in the region has gotten so much better. Um, I think our team, we all tried really hard and I think we all did the best that we could have. And if we go to Nationals or not now, it'll be okay because we, we did do our best. I was going to say, when, when you and I talked beforehand in the last week, you said you're going to run like it's the last race and hope that it isn't. And maybe it won't be. But do you like the way you ran? Yeah. If this is how it has to end, then I would be okay with that. If, if it were a bad performance, I would be very upset and want another shot. But if it has to end like this, I would be okay with that. You feel like you left everything out there. I did. I wanted to finish with feeling like I was going to collapse, and I did. So then it was good. And I guess you told me the best time you've ever run. Yeah, I'm, that was my goal all four years to break 22, and I think I did by a couple seconds. So, <laughs> so it was good. What did it take me for the race, the strategy? What was going through your mind? out on the course. I knew the first mile was going to be fast and I just had to 
go out comfortably. And then it was gonna, I had to settle in a little bit and then had to give it all, like at two miles or before two miles. And, and that, I knew that was gonna hurt because it was most of the race just going. But. Did you feel as though you ran the race that you planned to run? Yeah, I, I had planned to feel not as, not hurting as much, but, but I guess that was a good sign that I was hurting and trying. I was going to say, I guess if there was no hurt afterwards, you, you probably wouldn't have been happy with the race. <laughs> exactly. So now I know I gave it 